Yeah. Um, my two sons were without the grant the night he was murdered. They don't know what my yeah, yeah. And the thing about it, John is necessarily surprised by an all white jury. Yeah. And, and what I've been saying, we um not just in four closures, but we've always been to 99%. Yeah. From police brutality to gang injunction to everything. But just this week, just the other day, Johannes Messi was found again yeah. by another all white jury who mm -hmm. beat another man bad <laughs> six weeks before he killed Oscar Grant. So that was a red flag. But again, another all white jury found him in common. In, in, in liable of another brutality case that he didn't do. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it's not a hard to say when you have an all white jury that has to be protecting, yes, I mean, black and brown young men have been consistently killed by police officers. That's, and that's and, where and the arbitrary is. And I ain't got no solidarity with that. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't yeah. no solidarity with that. That's no. right. Tell him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell There's him. No He's got no that. solidarity. You're right, human beings, but if a human being doesn't see another human being as a human being, you hide behind a uniform, there's a problem with it. That's right. Well, I can't when, take no that's there. right. When, when is arbitrary power deployed against it? But we, but we always have to draw a distinction between the arbitrary power and the fact that under certain conditions, if it's not arbitrary, then the police ought to be protecting forces. See what I mean? That's, so that's, I hear what if you're we saying. Have equal protection under that law. Right. Said, if it wasn't arbitrary, it's not. They're not here to protect poor this people. Is one of the things that uh, Cornell and I don't do. Police aren't here to improve life in the black community. Police have a role in this society. And their role as the police force is to protect the status quo, the 1%, if you will. Exactly. That's the role that they play. And when we got arrested the third time here on the civil disobedience thing, the good cop came over and wanted to talk to him. He even wanted to do a mic check. And we said to him, if you want to do a mic check, Put them, throw away your bag. There you go. Join with us in this, but don't tell us that you're going to lock us up for doing civil disobedience. Work together with the pigs who are going to push us around, make the, you know, the... And the cuffs. The, the cuffs too tight. Yeah, they were tight too. You know, <laughs> <laughs> to get to the sisters who were there with us. If, you, if they're your brothers, then you can't be our brother. Okay? That's right. right. You're going to have to decide something. You're going to have to step away from them. Dr. West. That's right. Dr. West. Can we stand behind President Obama? We stand behind principle. We don't stand behind politicians. Yeah. 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 We stand behind principle. We have to make various choices, judgments, prudential judgments in terms of which politician we think comes anywhere near our principles. The problem is, we talked about this earlier today, of course, the problem is that the two-party system is so decayed, corrupt, and decrepit yes. that it's hard to get excited about anyone of these politicians. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, Dr. West. Yeah. 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 Talking about a bill that passed in the Senate that gave them the right to detain anyone for any reason. And essentially, this is the Obama administration codifying rights was on their part that the Bush administration floated out there. So it's been taken even farther. And this is important for us to get. You know, because I understand why people got swept into Obama three years ago. But I tried to tell them then, what you're getting here is a very effective representative for the system that's been oppressing, exploiting people, bombing people all around the world. And Obama was saying, I am the best person to lead this. And he has done some very effective things because some really foul shit has been done under this administration without people stepping out and protesting. I'm very glad that this movement has sprung up but it has to, it's got to be global. It's got to see the 99% around the world. And uh, I don't know how much longer we're going to be here, but Sunday at Revolution Books at noon, I'm going to be there and we can talk about anything.
We're right here in the Bay Area. In the Bay Area. Ooh, I'm not leaving. Right. 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 Member of the clergy here, Cornell. Last, last, last question right there, sister. We got to run, though. Dr. West, I have a question and a comment. And my question is, I was just out filming at the Alex protest in Arizona. I'm working on a documentary tying in um, systemic racism and the fact that our ruling class was built upon um, the incarceration and uh, human trafficking and continues to this day with the relationship between corporations and private prisons. And I was wondering what, how best you would like to talk or speak to people who would like to protest this group because they're insidious and they're very, very dangerous. And then my comment is, Fellow seminarian and former student of yours, Octavio Prasto, says hello and bid you well. Well, we were just in Arizona fighting this deeply racist, draconian uh, immigration deal. And we had magnificent uh, uh, mobilization. I was there. So yeah, you, just, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The Bay to draw the connection between uh, racist immigration policy, President Industrial Complex, and oligarchic group is something very important. You're an artist, so you're doing this in your documentary. I think that's very, very important to see the city. But Alabama is the same challenge, right. Florida is the same challenge as well. But just know you, you all are inspiration, I tell you that. Cornell, last word. You know what I call these fee increases? What's that? Proposition 209 for the white middle class. Yeah. Ah. They came for us first, they came for them second. Doctor, how about coming and teaching that cow? How about teaching that cow? Yeah! yeah. 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 Woo. yeah. Woo. How about GTU? Come on, please.